And this is what it looks like in code. Firstly, we collect the properties of the card in the collapsed position. We expand the card and collect the properties again. Next, we figure out the differences and then we transform the card back. Because we made a style change, we have to wait a frame for those style changes to take effect. Otherwise, if we change them again, the browser would ignore these and we'd see no animation. Now we've waited a frame, we can switch on animations and remove the invert, transforms and opacity changes. All that property collection probably sounds quite expensive. And you may be wondering how you can afford to do it. It sounds like a lot, and it is. I mean, you're doing all these calculations on demand whenever a user clicks or taps on a card. Well, it turns out I was making use of the 100 millisecond response window to do all those expensive calculations up front. On a Nexus 5, it took around 70 milliseconds to get everything done, which is well inside that 100 millisecond boundary.